pieces here. So we'll keep you updated there. How about the big cuff bracelet, Rick, that we had earlier in the hour? Okay, we'll remind you of that because I believe just about 75 of those are currently available. I love our dragonfly. I'm surprised we even have any of these left. So this is a pin pendant. So it's both. There are perfect five-star ratings on our dragonfly pendant. I'm gonna show you under the same item number, these fabulous earrings that are also customer pick, but I just had an update. Yeah, I was shocked that we had any of these at all currently still available. I have 25 pair of the dragonfly earrings. So the pin pendant, and I wanted to show you just holding against my, my hands so you can get an idea of the size. It's one and three quarters of an inch in length and then one and three quarters of an inch side to side. You'll notice in the back you have a straight pin. Again, you have a nice large bow on here. We have it on that 18 inch liquid silver. I believe we still have about 100 or so of the liquid silver necklaces still available for you. So that, again, customer pick, sold out the very first time we offered it, 155 with six flex payments. The earrings are also just absolutely charming. I love these. They're two and a quarter inches in length. They're just about one and five sixteenths of an inch side to side. And there's a lot going on in this inlay. I mean, we're talking about obviously beautiful. This is also Sleep and Beauty turquoise. This is like our little Sleep and Beauty crazy special <laughs> 15 minutes because definitely not something we often see, um, especially in a mixed with some of these other rare spiny oyster shell is in here. There's coral in here. There's, um, looks like a, even a jet color in there and a plum color. Tell me a little bit about the dragonfly, Jen. For the dragonfly, it is said that they are uh, these sacred beings and they are protectors of water and so, if you see any dragonfly anywhere, uh, not if you put close by to the dragonfly, you'll find a, a either a river, stream, or a large body of water. And uh, I, I said this when he, when I first got out to Florida, I've never seen so many dragonflies of the rainbow. And I only thought that they were like the dark color out here in the desert, but no, I, I mean it just blew my mind that this seeing all these beautiful creatures fly around together. And uh, I was wondering why they were so, they were so abundant by a water source. And I was told by an elder that, you know, they're protectors of water. And uh, mm -hmm. you seeing that you're, you know, either thirsty or you're that, they, they look at you, they, they, uh, they fly around you. And so they're trying to lead you to water to nourish you. And um, it is also said that the, Dragonflies are also souls of uh, of lost lovers that were that have gone before, and so when they found them each other in the afterlife, you know they mate together and they fly around forever, you know before the next future phase in their life. Oh, kind of like humans, right? Yes. <laughs> what we look forward to in life. I love that story, Jen. Zero eight three six four three. The earrings are just about gone, and last call.